In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can transform your limp locks into instantly thicker, fuller looking hair. If you're interested in how I got this celebrity inspired curly haired look, go ahead and stay tuned. Hey guys, today I have a hair tutorial. What I'm going to be doing is curling my hair with a flat iron. And I love the celebrity inspired looks where you get the big wave coming back. And when I have tried these looks, I've really enjoyed them, but I find that when I curl all my hair back, it tends to leave my hair looking finer and thinner. And I want a way to curl my hair to make it look fuller and thicker. So this is a way I've been curling my hair to get that celebrity style curl without making my hair look fine. So I'm going to be using a GHD one inch flat iron and some thermal spray. Okay, so I went ahead and sprayed all through my hair and combed it out. The thermal spray I used is from the Kendra Platinum line. It's the Hot Spray Protect and Finish, number 20, but it's not real sticky. So when I brush through my hair, it's still soft and very workable. Then I just took a little bit of a dime-sized drop of Moroccan oil and I worked it through my ends to give it a nice shiny finish so I don't get little frizzy, dry-looking ends. So now I'm going to take a duck bill clip and part half of my hair up. If you have thicker hair, you can still curl your hair this way. It won't make your hair look too big or anything, but I would probably split your hair into three sections instead of just two. So the first thing I'm going to do on this bottom section is I'm going to start curling my hair towards my face. I find when I curl all my hair away from my face, like I said, the curls tend to blend together and I feel like I just have one roll and I feel like I don't get the width I need to make my hair look fuller. So the way I like to curl my hair is first take my flat iron and make sure the hair is very smooth and then put the flat iron over the hair and clamp it shut and then I just like to turn my wrist and I don't twist the flat iron all the way around I pull it more like a ribbon and it curls. I'm just going to get that end a little more curled. There you go. So you don't have to sit there and try to move the flat iron all around. You really can get a nice curl with just getting the edge. So I'm just going to turn my wrist. And curl. Now don't get frustrated if it doesn't work the first time. The thing with curling your hair with a flat iron is you just have to practice. It'll probably fall off the bottom, it'll fall off the top, you'll get a little curl in a straight end, all these things might happen. But just relax and keep trying. So on this side I'll do the same thing. Go in, clamp, and then just twist and pull. And then I'm going to continue the same way all the way around this bottom section of my hair. Okay, I'm ready to start my next section. So I'm going to take my front bang area and I'm going to start curling this section back. So again, you can go over or under whatever feels comfortable to you. Twist the wrist and pull and a nice little curl going back. Or another way you can go underneath like this and then twist this way and you can also get to curl back like that. So this one's coming forward and back and then this one's just going back. I like to do this one 
first piece that way by coming up and over, but you can also do it this way. So that's kind of the difference of whether you go this way or the other way, depending on the style of curl that you want. Okay, so now that you're all done curling, go ahead and just brush through the curls with your fingers and kind of pull them apart. In this way, I get lots of curl and texture down here where I need it to give me lots of fullness, but I still get that really nice wave look in the front. All right, so there's my finished hair. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.